I find it absolutely incomprehensible that someone who has, was a lawyer and that tr became a judge would somehow violate that trust by doing something illegal, accepting money for that position. Because I've always looked upon the ju judiciary with respect. I've always looked at the judges that way when I was practicing. And I feel that the position, for me, I, I'm aspiring to keep this position. I feel it's, um, if there's compensation involved, I certainly feel that it's sufficient. Uh, and a judge has so much power uh, that it's awesome. And philosophically, I just cannot understand why someone would use their position as the two judges did that have resigned. I, I assume it's some inherent uh, quest for power and greed. I, that's the only thing I could think of. I, as far as where it went wrong, I just think there has to be some innate defect of character. I, that's Did the way. Do you have any, uh, you know, people have, that we, we've interviewed four or five candidates already, and most of them say they were shocked. So far, I don't think anyone said, you know, I, I thought something was wrong there. Did you ever have any idea that things were as off base as they appear to have been? No. I had a campaign with Michael Conahan, and I knew the the, the type of campa campaign he ran and what I had heard. Uh, I was I was concerned about what kind of a judge he would be, but I never ever felt that he would ever accept money and uh, do some of the other things that are alleged. Uh, I, I'm not certain about whether they're true or not. Uh, but I'm shocked uh, in that sense. And uh, Judge Chivarella, uh, I really didn't have much contact with him. Other, um, in some cases when I was a trial lawyer, when he was a trial lawyer. Uh, and I, I, again, I'm, I'm just surprised. I'm very surprised and, and shocked that he would engage in that conduct. 